I'd just like to take a few minutes um, just to kind of show you how you can organize using Digo. Because with Digo, if you're just bookmarking but you're not tagging or using lists, all you're going to do is end up with a giant list of bookmark websites. They're not going to be in any order. It's going to be a mess to find things. Um, I have 179 things bookmarked. So I need to have some sort of structure to help me find stuff. Otherwise, it's a disaster. Um, so let's go to this link here that I already, I already have bookmarked. Um, I know I showed you I showed you this in the last video that talks about bookmarking, highlighting, and sticky noting. But one way to organize is to use tags. Now, so for instance, with this website, it's all about um, 2012 election campaign or 2012 presidential campaign. So I organize by using certain tags. One of them is presidential campaign. Okay, that's one way that I organize things. So I added my tag in there. And remember, if you have more than one word, so if you have more than one word as your tag, you need to use quotation marks around it. Simply click Save Bookmark. And I need to remember Presidential Campaign, because that's my tag. So let's go to my library. And let's check out the tags list on the side here. My tags. Okay, these are the tags that I have. So let's see, presidential cartoons, presidential campaign. Here it is. If I click there, they'll take me to everything that's been tagged as presidential campaign. That way, it's it's organized in some way. It's in its own little folder that I can find things. And here it is. So boom. Perfect. Another thing you can do though is. You can also create lists. Sorry about that. I had to pause and kind of fix something quick here. But instead of tags, you can also use lists. Lists, I, I think of them as like files on your computer. I'm someone who uses lists more than I do tags. So for instance, if I click my list about Egypt, this will take me to all my Egypt stuff that I have in the list of Egypt. Not a whole lot. 2012 election though I have a lot of things there because I use my list when I bookmark certain things okay so let's just go to let's create a new list here so it will be in the bottom left hand corner of your Digo library create a new list and I'm just gonna call this go animate project issue one so my recommendation is that for each issue you have, you should have three for your project, just make its own little list. It's like its folder where you can put all your bookmarks that relate to that issue. Make it private. If you want to, you can add a description. I'm not going to. I already know the whole purpose of the list. I click create the list. I just get a nice confirmation page basically telling me I've made the list. Now I'm going to go to, oh, look at that, my website. And again, videos and tutorials, this is where those videos are to explain how to use Digo. Let's say I want to bookmark this. I click my Digo lit. Digo lit. Oh, it's not working. Great. So let's just go to CNN. That's kind of my fallback. Here I am, CNN. Um, let's just click here. It doesn't really matter for our sake. Let's bookmark it. I want to join it to that list. There it is. Bookmark. Usually I would add a description. I might add a tag depending on, you know, some people use tags, some people use lists, some people use both. Um, it's up to you. But to add it to that list, just pull it down. And let's see if I can find Go Animate. There it is. Project issue one. Save bookmark. Let's go double check, make sure it's in there. My library. Or, if you wanted to, you could have done my lists. Either way. So we're in my library. Let me check my lists here. Go animate project. 
There it is. Perfect. So it's in my list. That's it. But lists are very important, very easy to organize things. Think of it as a file or a drawer for all kinds of categorized information.